Hello everybody, my name is Ify and welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be sharing with you the most amazing and delicious fish roll recipe ever. Now, this recipe is really close to my heart because anytime I make some, it evokes some pleasant memories in my heart which makes me really happy. So, I hope this recipe makes you just as happy as it makes me. Why don't I show you the ingredients and then we can start. We'll be making use of fish. I'm using mackerel, also known as titus, some fish seasoning, some pepper, thyme, spring onions, sugar, egg, salt, mixed spice, melted butter, water, onions, all-purpose flour, and some vegetable oil. In a mixing bowl, Add your all-purpose flour, your sugar, mixed spice. If you don't have any mixed spice available, that's fine. You can use nutmeg or just omit it generally. But I find that, you know, using some form of spice makes it taste nicer. So I've added the salt, melted butter, and the egg. I'll be mixing with my dough hook attachment. If you don't have a mixer, that's fine. You can use your hand to knead this whole thing. It doesn't require a mixer or um, any other um, high level equipment. Just your hands will be fine. So what I'm doing now is mixing the ingredients together. You'll find that they look like fine breadcrumbs once you've mixed everything well. Okay, so just use a spatula and um, get all the other part that I've not mixed in properly just to get it all nicely mixed. Now continue mixing till all the ingredients are well combined. Everything has mixed in thoroughly and then we'll add the next ingredient which is the water. Add your water in bits. Just take it easy. Add it in bits. Everything is going to go in there but you know just take it nice and slow. Add it all and if you notice I'm using the um, a low speed setting at first. This is to make everything combine first before I crank up the speed setting to a higher one and allow the mixer do its thing. Okay, so we're done um, with the dough and now look at it. This is just the way you want it to be. Okay, this is a perfect consistency. And if you notice, the uh, mixture isn't too hard, neither is it too soft. This is just perfect. So what we're going to do right now is to set it aside and allow it to rest while we move on with the rest of the ingredients. So let's prepare the fish filling for the dough. So it's time to prepare the fish filling for the dough. Now I'm using mackerel, which is also known as Titus in most parts of Nigeria. What part of the world are you from? And what, what is this fish called where you're from? Let me know in the description box, just um, state it. I like to learn a lot from you guys. So I've just cut the fish into um, different small parts. This is going to make it faster and easier to cook. If you notice, I took off the head. There's really little or no fish in the head. I don't need it for this recipe. So I'm just putting the fish in a clean pot and I'm going to season it with some fish seasoning, some onions, and I'm also going to be using thyme. Now I'm adding some water and then I'll stir it all together and allow it to cook for about, um, it took me about 10 minutes to cook this fish, you know, so just going to stay, cover it and allow it to cook. After a few minutes, remember to check on the fish. And once you see that the fish is done, take out the fish, Put it in another bowl and please reserve this fish stock. This is like gold. It's going to make another recipe so flavorful. I love to use fish stock in my moi moi. So beautiful. Okay, so let's get back to our cooking. All right, so the bone, the fish, rem ah, there's so much bone in this fish. So take your time. Patiently remove every single bone because you don't want this bone to get stuck in anyone's throat while eating your delicious fish roll so make sure you take out every single bone in this fish 
Now, once you're done deboning the fish, the next step is to break up the fish into smaller bits, all right? You can use your hands or you can use a fork for this part. Just get in there and break up the fish into bits just like this. Once you're done, set it aside. In a clean pan, add some cooking oil. This could be canola, it could be vegetable oil, whatever oil you have available at home. Use it. Once that oil is hot, add in your onions and then let the onions cook for about a minute or so. This is to allow the onions release its sweetness. Once this is done, add your fish into it and stir fry it along with the onions. You know, just mix it together for about another minute before you add your next ingredients. Add your pepper, your dry pepper, but I'm using yaji, which is also known as suya pepper in Nigeria. I'm using yaji because it contains a whole lot of other herbs and seasoning, which make the fish really nice and flavorful. If you don't have it, don't worry, use your regular pepper, okay? Now I also added my spring onions and I'm just going to stir fry this for a few minutes before I move on to the next stage. I want to welcome all my old subscribers and saying welcome guys and thank you for sticking with me. And you, if you're watching this for the first time, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm happy to have you here. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so anytime I upload a new video, you know all about it, okay? Let's go without cooking. I'm adding some seasoning cubes right now. Be careful, be careful here. You know that you added some seasoning when you were cooking the fish. You've added some salt to the dough. So be careful in this part. You don't want to over season your fish. Once that is done, set it aside in a plate to cool before we move on. Our fish filling is ready, our dough is ready. It's time to combine everything together. So right now we want to roll out the dough, but first, I put some flour on the work table and this is to make the dough not stick to the work surface. It's very important to do so. Just sprinkle some flour and then, you know, rework the dough, just knead it together and then make it into a log form. Then take a knife and then divide the dough into several pieces, as many as you want it to be. For this um, measurement, for this recipe, I used, I cut it into 10 pieces. Right, so feel free to cut it more or less, whatever you like. You want it bigger, you want it smaller, just do you. So I cut it into 10 pieces. Now I'm going to take each one and then roll it out and fill it with the fish filling. So one part of the dough is going to make me one fish roll, okay? So I also put flour on the rolling pin so that the dough will not stick to the rolling pin. All right, so that's what I did. Now I'm rolling out the dough. In rolling out the dough, you should roll it out in such a way that it's not too thick and not too thin. If it's too thin, then it's going to break. You'll see some holes and you really don't want to see those holes. So not too thick, not too thin. All right, great. So just roll it out into this form and then take some of your cold fish filling well, not cold, but, you know, room temperature, fish filling. Put it in the dough and then roll it just like I've done. Seal the sides together. This is important. So when you're frying it, it does not burst open and then the fish, you know, falls out into the oil or, you know, it starts falling out. So seal the sides just like I've done and then roll it tightly and nicely, just like this, okay? Look at how easy everything is coming up, coming up and very simple now take some water just take some water the tip of your finger apply it to the edge of the dough and then roll it now that water is going to allow that part to seal properly so when you're frying it doesn't burst open again and can you see how i rolled it on the table that's to make sure that it's you know it really really seals that edge it seals well and so that's it that's your fish roll we're going to be frying it now we're going to be frying these fish rolls, so grab your oil, put it into a clean pan, allow it get hot, and then drop in the fish rolls. Um, please be careful, the oil shouldn't be too hot, neither should it be cold, no, just somewhere in between. And reduce your level, your heat level to medium low, because you want these fish rolls to cook through, you want them to cook 
all the way in so do not use high heat or they'll end up burning without getting fully cooked so once they're done place them on a kitchen napkin or kitchen roll and let them drain let the oil drain all the excess oil let it drain and there you have it the most delicious fish rolls ever i should let you know these fish rolls will test your willpower eh hmm. they're so delicious that you you'll eat as many as possible in one sitting so be careful do you know that i couldn't resist i actually had to take a bite on this one don't blame me it was so good so good and you actually see fish in these ones not like all those ones that they sell that you know you just smell the fish you don't see them you just smell the fish this is really really good so i want you all to try this recipe and let me know what you think about it in the comment section i want to read from you i want you to try it i'm going to drop all the ingredients in the description box and try it and let me know so Ah, oh, don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like this recipe. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead, do it now. Till I come your way some other time, take care of you and be good. Bye.